The odds were stacked against him, but 16-month-old Jackson Taylor has been defying those odds ever since the car crash two weeks ago. The second I pulled him out, I knew that, I knew that his neck was broken. The crash was head-on at 70 miles an hour. Jackson's mother blames joyriders coming the other way. They were not badly hurt, but Jackson and his nine-year-old sister Shane were. Jackson's injury could have been fatal. Both the top two vertebrae were broken. Known as C1 and C2, they connect the skull to the spine, and that's why Jackson's injury is called an internal decapitation. A piece of one rib has been used to graft the vertebrae back together. A lot of children wouldn't survive that injury in the first place. And if they did and they were resuscitated, they may never move or breathe again. Jackson was in the operating theatre for six hours. The halo frame will support his head for the time being, but in about eight weeks, the graft should have done its job. They've taken two broken kids and put them all back together, so we're very, very thankful. It is. It's... it's it is a miracle. Jackson. And her miracle boy is expected to make a full recovery. Simon Viger, 5 News.